Boxing King Media in association with Boxro are here at the Steel City Gym with uh, John Doherty. Uh, John, I think we spoke about two or three months ago and I think he was in training for a Diego Costa fight. No one's really heard from you since, so just come to catch up with you. you know, but first of all, what, what, what went wrong? How come you didn't fight in that fight? It was just um, some issues. Um, some issues I had to sort myself and... Um, I basically, if I would have went into the ring, I wouldn't have been fully focused on on the fight ahead, what was happening to me in training and that there. So um, we got them uh, sorted out. It's some personal issues, and um, and now yeah, I'm back now, and um, I'm ready to get going. You know what I mean? I've only had one fight this year, and um, it's no fault to no one else but me. You know what I mean? I um, had a fight lined up, and um, training was going well, but just some issues coming involved in training that I, I couldn't train on. So um, Grant and my team made a, uh, made the thing saying. Uh, don't fight, so I um, had to pull out, and um, I don't like pulling out of fights, and no one does, you know what I mean, and I need to get paid, you know what I mean, I've done a long, long training camp, I think it was like, I was in training camp 15 weeks, so um, yeah, it was a, a big uh, thing in my boxing career, you know I mean, that was a fight that was going to push me on to the next level, it was, you know, it was unbeaten, and um, now I can't box him again, because obviously he's just been beat, or if uh, somebody was, was not well known, so um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back up again, so I think Sky and Ben Schlom's um, managed to get me up quick, um, I think I'm going to be boxing sooner than I thought and um, hopefully I can get another two fights up by the end of the year That's spot on that because obviously when, when you pulled out no, I, to be fair I don't think I knew till the day of the fight or the day of the way and I think it was because I was expecting you as uh, Diego Costa uh, but obviously I, I don't intrude or anything like that so obviously when, when people have personal reasons is there anything you could talk about or is it private? Yeah just private just keep it just, uh, me and Grant just keep it to ourselves and um, I just I wasn't going to be 100% in the ring and um, if I would have lost it would have been a dumb fall to me again what happened that when I was on match room um, it would have happened the exact same again I mean I'm not saying I would have got beat but if I would have it was down to myself you know what I mean and um, I wasn't 100% in training and um, Grant made this decision to pull me out Definitely, and it's probably worth noting as well, just a, a kind of comparison to somebody working in an office job. People phone in sick and they disappear from work for weeks. Boxing is a similar sort of game, do you know what I mean? But it's not a game that you can, if there's something not right at home or health or anything, you know what I mean? You can't take a gamble and go into the ring because you could do really the entire career. Fair point? Definitely, well, maybe sent, um, it was, uh, your health comes first before boxing and... Um, I had to sort that went out through my dad and that there and um, spoke to my dad, spoke to my trainer, my manager and um, yeah, we made the decision to uh, pull me out. Um, I'm a fighter, I'm 100%, I'll, I'll, I'll fight every day, you know what I mean? But um, that issue what I had, I had to, had to get sorted out and um, it's sorted out now and um, I'm 100% focused and back in training now and um, I'm ready to go whenever. That's good to hear. I'm guessing, did you watch uh, Diego Costa's fight with uh, Musa Moyo, who kind of shocked everyone? Yeah, um, I knew um, he was going down the super middleweight. I don't think his power was the same when he was at like heavyweight. Um, I think he, he looked a bit more drained at the weight and um, his power went because he was hitting that boy with some clean shots and he wasn't budging. So, um, yeah, um, when the boy's not really well known and I was watching the fight and um, I was thinking I was going to be boxing Costa after that fight. I thought he was going to win it, but um, I had him, had him losing wider than what the scorecards was. I think that was uh, quite generous one with the scorecards, but... Um, yeah, listen, it, it makes me itch my head when I'm thinking, why did I pull up that fight? But you can say that when that happens, you know what I mean? But um, I wish Diego Costa all the best. And um, I don't even think that boy's a super middleweight he fought. I think he's a middleweight. I think he, I, I've got him on Instagram, I think he's going to say he's going back down to middleweight. So um, that tells you how good uh, Diego Costa is and um, how strong his power is. It's, um, obviously, he was knocking out nobody's, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, maybe we could get back down the line. You never know if he starts winning again. But um, I don't see him going nowhere now. He's, um, I think he's 36 or 37 years old. So um, yeah, I wish him whatever he'll do next, all the rest. Definitely worth uh, giving a, um, a mention to uh, Musa Moyo because his performance was pretty slick. He showed a lot of good moves. He literally come out of nowhere and he's probably going to struggle to get fights now because I'm assuming he doesn't sell tickets and he's took that fight in the away corner to probably come and lose. But not only did he win, he looked pretty slick. He did, he looked good. And um, when he won straight away, I texted him saying, well done, um, very good performance. And uh, it was, it was a very good performance. I thought it was really slick. He was uh, pushing uh, Doug Lasso back at times and uh, working on the back foot. He, he's a hard style to beat him. And I know it, you can say that against him. Maybe Costa made him look better than what he was, but um, I, um, I thought he was quite good, yeah, and he was very slick. And um, him down at middleweight, I think he said he's going back down to uh, middleweight. So, um, yeah, he'll be, he'll be a force and maybe something to look out for in, in the future. 
and obviously said Diego's on paper it's only one loss and he lost some points so I'm pretty sure you guys can get that made and um, have you got an opponent for this fight that you might have lined up? Um, not yet, um, we're looking at an eight rounder because um, it's not far away I'm just first week back in the camp, uh, I've been running and all that um, so I'm doing an eight rounder and hopefully later on like the month after I can do a ten rounder for a title um, so we'll just wait and see what uh, Ben Shalom and uh, Boxer give me and um, We'll take, you know what I mean? Um, I'm thankful Box and Sky for um, backing me all the way and um, getting me back out. Um, if this fight go, comes on, um, for, thanks for getting me out so quick when I'm back in the camp, you know what I mean? And um, all I can do is thank them very much. Definitely, I think, uh, I don't know if we said it in the interview, but you told me off camera how you know, Ben uh, at Sky has looked after you before, you know, when fights have fell through. Um, so credit to him for getting you straight back out because he could have been left out in the cold. Uh, any mention in regards to, you know, how it's been working with Ben Shalom, any experience with him so far? Yeah, Sky and that, they, you know, as you know, in boxing, they're all the, the top team and um, they're a force to reckon, like, um, they're the signing boys, they've got more signs coming and um, some big signs coming, actually, and um, what I've heard, they didn't even tell me, like, what I've heard back and forward and they've always treated me 100%, even when I was with Matcham and Sky was with them, Sky was treating me 100% in, in boxing, I, I fought, obviously, at the beginning of the year on their show and um, they treat me in top respect and um, they're getting me back up quick, so all I can do is thank them very much and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to working on them more. Obviously, but you were managed by Eddie Hearn before, uh, promoted by him, should I say. Obviously, with somebody who's kind of, I don't want to say he's new in the game because he has been around for a while, but on, on the big scale, he's fairly new. So, what's, what's just for fans, because fans are always curious about this sort of stuff, what's your one-to-one -one interaction like with Ben? You know, how does he help you out? And what's that boxer-promoter relationship like? It's good. Obviously, I go through my manager and he, he speaks back and forward to um, to Ben on, on the phone and um, they got on well and uh, ben, ben likes me, you know what I mean? So um, all, all I can do is thank Ben for everything he's doing for me, getting me back out uh, so soon and um, hopefully this fight goes ahead and, um, you know what I mean, he, he's doing a lot for me, you know what I mean? And obviously I lost that fight uh, on match and they, could, they didn't have to put me back up and uh, put me back on, on television, but they have and um, I'm thankful for the opportunity they've given me and um, now I've got a contract with them and um, now I'm ready to push on, you know what I mean? And Ben's been a big help. With that, they're getting me the contract. So, um, and John Wish, John Wish is a big shout as well. Um, he speaks a lot with um, my manager um, Sam. So, um, them two get on quite a lot, really well as well. To be fair, yeah, more I think more than Ben. Um, but um, yeah, they're all they're all top team, and I can just I can't thank them off. Sound and and how's everything outside the gym? Uh, I'm I take you back back down here again because it's not great being away from home, is it? I'm guessing. No, well, obviously, the last camp I had, uh, I think it was 15 weeks when I pulled out. It was just a long camp, or two fights pulled far through, and you were in serious shape as well. I remember seeing you. I was in good shape, like, and um, I, I was sparring, tw doing 12 rounds in the fight, fell through, and I was back in the camp again. Obviously, and I had to pull out, so um, I was out a lot of money, and I'm still out a lot of money. You know what I mean, so that's why I need to try and get two fights by the end of the year. And um, you know, what I mean, I've got a family to keep up there, and um, obviously, my wife and kids come down with me uh, now and again down to Sheffield so it's not it's hard on them as well coming down I mean uh, sometimes they're missing school because I, I need to come to, I need them to come down with me to keep me uh, company and that there so um yeah it is hard. it's a hard sport and everyone knows that but um they don't know how hard it is when you've got a wife and kids to keep you know what I mean and um, it's no fault of Sky me pulling up my last fight but um I'm just ready to get back going now and um I've went down on the scene a bit and I'm surprised with my, my, my rank is still in Britain you know what I mean so I've never really been busy enough and I'm still number, I think it was number nine when I last checked on, uh, checked on that there. So um, I'm looking forward to start getting our rankings back up there and um, start getting titles. That's what I want, I want, I want titles. Definitely, man. And, and just uh, to wrap up, you know, to, for people that probably don't understand, you know, uh, you're clearly a family man, you've got kids and you've got a missus. It's not easy being away from them. So just, just kind of describe to me what it's like, obviously, being away from home and then trying to find that balance where, you, you know, you've got to put the work in the gym to make sure you win your fights, but at the same time, you want to be around your kids because I'm guessing your kids are young. Well, it's a lot of stress, and uh, I know it's a, a bad thing to say when you're 25 years old and you're getting stressed, but um, it's a lot of stress, and uh, obviously when your kids are down here, you, they're, they're all right down here with me, but obviously they're missing at school, they're missing, and I'm, I'm, I'm away from home. I'm, I'm down here on Monday and Friday, and I'm dry, it's long drives back and forward, do you know what I mean? So it's um, it's not it's not an easy sport, and um, if you've got a wife and kids, it's, it's much much harder. You know what I mean, it's a lot, lot more stress. You need to, yeah, you know, I need to pay bills. Bills need to get paid. I need to put food on the table for my wife and kids. And um, obviously, through the summer, I had a long camp, so they were missing out nearly everything. I never took them hardly nowhere. And um, 
I've gotten a holiday not uh, two weeks ago, so um, I took them on a holiday. That's all they've been on this whole year. You know what I mean? It's because I've been that busy on training, but I've never had no fights. You know what I mean? I've, I've never fought, so um, it's hard. It's a hard going sport, and um, I can see some. There's, there's a lot of downfalls in boxing. You know what I mean? But um, I look forward to now pushing on and um, getting titles when I can start getting titles and show them somewhat what I'm winning. You know what I mean? It's all right getting eight rounders and. Yeah, you get paid in that there, but you want to show what you've been winning, you know what I mean? And um, hopefully I can win a few belts and then um, get out of boxing, you know what I mean? Um, I've still got a few years to go yet and um, I want to win titles and show my someone who's older that, that that's what I won, you know what I mean? I hope so for you, John, and a special shout out to your missus because obviously without having a partner that can stick by through these sort of times, it's it's not easy. So shout out to Mrs. Doherty. Yeah, definitely. Um, she's obviously she comes down with me. She does it. Me sit at the hotel. She's sitting outside now in the car with the kids. And um, yeah, big shout out to you. I mean, uh, it's hard going. And um, she's, was that your missus outside? Yeah, I did see her in the car. Yeah, yeah that's Mrs. Up there. So she, um, you know, I mean, it's hard going. Her coming down here. She's got no pals down here. She's only been around me. And when I go to the gym, she does it. Me sit at the hotel. She sits outside in the car. And, you know, I mean, she does what she has to do. You know what I mean, and uh, I'm thankful for that. And um, yeah, we're just um, she wants me to do better. You know what I mean, she wants me to stick at the box and and, and do good. And that's why she sits out there and comes down here with me. And she's been sat outside in the car for two hours. So <clears throat> if Mrs. Doherty is watching, big shout out to you and uh, John. Appreciate your time <clears throat> and all the best. All I've got to say is that I'm doing a run on Sunday for uh, breast cancer. My mum had it, so um, yeah, I'm doing 26 miles for um, for breast cancer on uh, Sunday. So. Um, it's another good thought for what I'm doing on, on Sunday and um, I'm looking forward to doing it and uh, it's a big shout out to all the people that's beating cancer and um, that's what I'm doing for breast cancer. Is there any way people can sponsor you or anything like that? Uh, yeah, there's a few. It's obviously Sunday, it's quite uh, not far away and uh, we need to meet, uh, we've raised a grand so far. I think we've got to make uh, three grand so if anyone can put money towards it, um, it'll be much appreciated and um, obviously me and my uncle's doing it so um, yeah, we're doing it for a good cause, breast cancer and obviously my mum and my aunties had, had it so... Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it for them. I'll, I'll share the link on the socials for you. Appreciate that, John. No problem. Thanks very much. Thank you.